pebbles started to drop and a few more pebbles and the pebbles were six inches deep and a foot deep and two feet deep and a meter deep and there are young people all over this planet recording themselves doing mashups publishing it and they're spending their evenings or perhaps their afternoons seeing what one another are doing they're turning away from the mass media and the pebbles are rising and we are seeing a democratization of publishing the world is changing and it's coming because of web 2 and web 2 has similarly facilitated a democratization in learning and that is encapsulated in the managed learning environment so in london we got our heads together and decided that we would we, ha we felt we had a business case to actually challenge the industry for a new learning environment for the whole of London, for a million learners. We'd had something in place since 2001, an online platform which provided for some authoring, an online space, some email, communities. It was doing reasonably well until everybody went to use it and it struggled a bit. And we needed something that was new for the 21st century for London. We challenged the industry. We brought our experts together. One of the great things about collaborating over a region is you can spot who's good at what and invite them to step up and serve the whole region, not just their local area. We brought together a team of uh, two and a half dozen uh, experts to write a specification, to run a procurement, to challenge the industry, to evaluate the solutions. And we settled on something we call the London MLE, which and if there was an advert, here it is, which happens to be powered by Franta, but that's incidental at this moment in time. And I want to move on to what are the lessons that we've learnt at a classroom level, at a school level, and at a regional level, providing young people with an online digital environment in which they can express themselves, in which they can interact with one another, in which they can use multimedia, and in which their teachers can lead and encourage the process of learning both in and outside the school gate and the school day. So, some lessons from the classroom. Let's try and make this interactive. Not easy with 2,000 people in the audience, but as you watch this little clip, what are the lessons? What are we learning from what we're seeing from the learner, the teacher, and the head teacher? The other night I was doing a literacy quiz, and first of all, I watched a clip on a very disgusting, smelly plant. I had to take notes about it and then I do, did a quiz. I got so stuck into it that it became very late and I didn't know what to do with it. Then I found out that I could save and postpone my answers. So the next day I went back onto homework and then I did the rest of the quiz. In the end I got 10 out of 10. Emily has been a superb tool at maximising the impact of London Grid for Learning resources that enhance daily teaching. MLE means that I can engage the children with online content such as the audio network and Pathé News Archive. Using this technology, children have begun transforming scripts from our literacy lessons into videos that they can work on at home or in school. I love the fact that I can organise resources together where the child can access all they need in one location. The MLE login allows both myself and the children to gain access to the London Grid for Learning online content at home not only have the children responded well to Emily, the staff that have been inducted have really enjoyed the learning experience, a new learning experience for them. Also, staff that haven't been involved in the training have asked for when they are going to have their training and start using Emily with their classes. Toriano Genius has worked closely with the local authority to develop collaboration with other Camden Emily users. So far, we've used the Camden administration room to talk to colleagues and troubleshoot. The London Managed Learning Environment has given us a way of approaching transition to Year 7 in ways that were not previously possible. Because all of the secondary schools in Camden are on the London MLE, we are able to create a transition room with two of our local feeder secondaries for the children to communicate through and get a sense of school life. We are anticipating that MLE in combination with video conferencing will be a powerful way of supporting transition. So, what did we learn from that? We learned that the learner was inspired and motivated. That little girl was at home working and she carried on working until it was quite late. But then she got 10 out of 10, so it was worth it. For the teacher, the pleasure of being able to take a mixture of resources and structure them, not just throw them together, but structure them online. 
and we're very fortunate in London, working collectively, we've been able to amass a large array of what we would call premium learning resources online for teachers and pupils to use across all of the K-12 age phase. And those, organized, those resources get organized within the learning platform so that children can access appropriate resources and this strengthens, we find, the homeschool link. For the head teacher, she sees that her staff are enthusiastic about using the learning platform, but more importantly, that there is enormous possibilities because we've adopted the same platform across the region for collaboration in other schools. And that's particularly important when it comes to what we call primary secondary transition. We have in the UK, as I suspect there are in many other countries, what we call a year seven dip. When children arrive in secondary school, you look at their assessments from primary school and somehow they don't seem to be the same children. And we have this catch up in year eight at age 11, 12, because children don't seem to be the same children they were when they were left uh, primary school, because there doesn't seem to be the linkage. And we're finding that the online platform, because it's the same platform, allows the children to pass from primary school to secondary school, having already made some online links uh, with their secondary schools. And in fact, what, what this little girl in, the, in, in that video had been doing was collaborating with her sister, her older sister, who is in a secondary school in the same local authority using the same platform. And this was assisting greatly in that sense of mutual support. And uh, another uh, challenge we have in London is that it, it's a very um, heterogeneous population and we have a high level of movement, about 10% of students in school move around in year for one reason or another. And when they turn up in a different school, isn't it a better idea that rather than finding a whole different set of technologies and resources, there's something that's consistent that they can simply pick up their portfolio and drop it into their new environment in their new school in the same online environment. And as the teacher said, it's a powerful way of supporting transition between school. So let's move on to a secondary school environment. At Whitefield, we have been using the London managed learning environment for about two months. Our research led us to be early adopters in Barnet, and we have targeted a group of staff who are enthusiastic about using the system to enhance learning. I use the MLE in my own teaching of an A-level physics group. I store my teaching materials that are also then accessible for students. If someone is absent, they can easily catch up on the lesson that they have missed. I can set work which students receive electronically and they then complete and return to me. I mark and grade their work online. These comments and grades go into their portfolio and progress is tracked within the MLE. Learning is now very easily extended beyond the confines of lesson time and this helps to build a learning community within the class. My students can turn to their classmates for help as much as they can turn to me. In my school I know that if I'm enthusiastic and more importantly if I myself engage with the development such as the London MLE in my own teaching, my staff know that I'm showing the direction the school is taking. I'm personally very enthusiastic about using a managed learning environment. So what did we learn from this gentleman? In the, in the year 12, up the top end of, upper end of the secondary phase, he, the school had the strategy of targeting enthusiastic staff, using the platform to help students who were absent to catch up on missed work, to submit work, mark, grade, and comment on it online. The learner was extended beyond the classroom, and the creation of an online learning environment 